Got the Excalibur card out again. For this test, I removed the right motor. So we'll be just running one 48 volt, 1000 watt brushed motor. And then I have our YX YH DC 48 volt 35 amp hour lithium battery mounted up again so so far got two charge cycles on it and the last test with the dual motors battery pack was getting hot right here where the discharge wires come out so this test will be with just one 48 volt 1000 watt motor and we'll see if the battery pack gets hot and what kind of uh, capacity we get out of it all right this is our 48 volt 35 watt or amp hour lithium battery test with one brushless motor Got her up to 257 watt hours used. The voltage in this battery pack is showing 52.3 volts. And I can feel very little warming. The output wires. The output wires have just a bit of warmth to them. 
at the corner of the battery pack it was getting hot before is not. Motor's good and warm. Feel the speed controller. It's just warm a little. Alright, well, so far we've racked up more out of this pack than we did with the double motors. And we are not experiencing the heating up problem. So we'll go a bit more and see what else we can get out of it. Well, we've got our meter up to 451 watt hours used. And the battery pack is still at 51.4 volts. Can't probably see it, but I'm feeling the side of the battery pack. Not warm at all. The discharge wires themselves are a bit warm. But that's about it. Alright, well, we'll go a bit more. Well, we've got it up to 500 watt hours even used out of this battery pack now and battery pack is the voltage is only showing down to 51.1 volts so it's shit got a long ways to go all right i'm gonna run around put her away for tonight as you can see it's pretty freaking dark not gonna charge it up or anything we'll see what the voltage is in the morning and Go from there. A better reading. I think you look at a little better reading than that. Finally done for the night at 523 watt hours used and the battery pack is showing 51.1 volts so we'll resume the test in the morning power off circuit breaker off Ooh, that motor is freaking really hot really hot speed control is warm to the touch but not that I can't hold it that motor is it's cooking that's the next day and our meter is showing 51.63 volts in our battery pack and still the 523 watt hours used. So we'll take it for a ride and see what we can get out of it today. Motor's much cooler. Well, I've been zipping around a little bit. Got our watt hour meter up to 607 watt hours. Battery pack is still showing um, about 50 and 3 fourths volts. Motor is just a little bit warm. Speed controller too. I'm with the show.
Now we got her up to 700 watt hours used. And the battery pack is still showing 50.45 volts. So about 50 and a half volts. And she's still zipping along. Hello, Destiny. Alright, well, I've been riding around for a while now. And we've got the watt hour counter up to 827 watt hours used. And the battery pack is showing 49.67 volts. It's still zipping along. I've been feeling. Just barely any warmth in the output wires I don't feel any warmth in the battery anywhere and our motor well not too bad I can hold it it's good and warm though the center is no hotter than the casing and a speed controller Warm but not hot. Tires are taking a heck of a beating. Got no wear indicators left here in the front on the insides. Got a chunk of rubber in this one. Not good. Yes, there's a Bit of a wear indicator there, but yeah, it's totally gone. You can see a bit of a wear profile. Yeah, I've been running the crap out of this thing. Still zipping along good though. It's day three. Got the RX Caliber card out again. Battery pack still showing 49.95 volts. And we're still at the 838 watt hours used. I checked in the battery pack here. The low cutoff should be about 36 volts. And then I checked on our speed controllers here. And the low is 42 volts. So our speed controller should shut down at 42 volts. Way before our battery pack is low. So we still got almost 50 volts down to 42 to go. Alrighty, here we go.
we got the let me see here there we go got the watt hour meter up to 935 watt hours used and the battery pack still showing 49 volts but we had a mechanical failure and snap the spindle off so test over yeah this little little oh uh, what is it here 48 volt 3500 35 amp hour battery pretty badass mark down which charger goes to it just so we don't get it mixed up or anything and still the cables aren't getting warm battery's not getting warm cool just gonna have to fix a spindle here okay this concludes this test stay tuned we'll get her fixed do more testing.